How can I tell if an operator in an execution plan is done by the storage engine or not? For example, how can I measure the impact of IO latency on key lookups? Well, here's the problem with what you're trying to do. Think about an execution plan that hits lots of different tables that has things like sorts in it at different stages, things that go parallel, so the I.O. operations are different on different threads. Some pages may be cached, some pages may not. As you start to think about that, you'll understand how hard it would be to accomplish. What you really want to do is zoom out a little. You see if I actually walk away from it, it kind of redoes the camera. And then if I step in closer, yeah, God, it's creepy. Now, what you really want to do is zoom out and say, is I.O. a problem for this query? You can do that by capturing query level wait stats on a modern version of SQL Server. If you run queries with the actual execution plan turned on, uh, you'll get the query stats for, or the wait stats over in the properties. Right click on the select operator, for example, go into properties, and down near the bottom of the properties pane, there'll be wait stats, and you can see which wait stats your query is waiting on. If it's I.O., you're going to want to just reduce the I.O. And I.O. wait stats can be things like page I.O. latch. Uh, they can be TempDB spills, all kinds of stuff. Um, if, you're wait, if you're waiting, if the query is waiting on storage and you want to make it go faster, there are a few different ways that you can do that. You're probably not going to change the I.O. latency of your entire server just you know, on a whim. If you're in the cloud, you may you know, turn up the, the bill, so to speak. You may give yourself more IOPS, but otherwise you're not going to just randomly speed up the storage on a production server. If you could do that, you would have done that already by now. And what you want to do is read less data. And to do that, that's where things like query tuning and index tuning come in. So just as a summary, zoom out, ask what wait stats you're waiting on right now for that query, and then go tackle those wait stats holistically at the query level. Stop trying to take a screwdriver to one particular uh, query plan operator and say, I want to change this one. You know, it just isn't going to work all that well.